Vanessa. <laughs> Just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. Okay, Bill and Vanessa and I are all going to walk to Cafe Candillo so he can take a look at some coffee to see what he can take home with him. Dude, like a headset. Or a microphone. It would need to be wireless. Yeah. Uh oh. We need an umbrella. Umbrella. Real men don't have Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> Or take a taxi from the mall? Uh, I took a taxi to and from the mall. I walked to the hotel and I walked around. Uh, to your place. The day before yesterday, I walked up to the mall. Good for you. Except recently, when I've been in a kind of a stay at home, depressed state, and, <laughs> which I'm just coming out of, um, I do that about pretty much every day. Yeah, just living in a place like this is exercise itself. Yeah. Well, it's fun just to watch. Yeah. See, here's one of the places. Oh, they're everywhere. So they can wait for them. Yep. Yeah, that's the the slum one. There's one in, uh, in the mall. It's, it's new. Mall, it's yeah. big. It's new. Yeah. This is like a little bitty one. That, this is the one that has the disgusting meat department. <coughs> Uh huh. Now the hotel's there, right? Yeah. And that's for the apartments. One of these days they'll get their tenants in there. Supposedly they're going to, it's going to be like an outlet mall. Oh, okay. Now I've inserted here a video clip that Bill sent me yesterday. Um, he's back in the USA, but he stayed at Mokawa, and I've actually never been inside to look at the hotel rooms. I've never had any reason to do that. And I thought it was very interesting to see. Uh, these hotel rooms are probably the nicest in Armenia or up there. Uh, hotel Armenia may have some nicer rooms, but it's on par. And this hotel is on par pretty much with any hotel that you're, any nice hotel like a Radisson, for example, that you'd find in the United States or Canada. And um, it was nice to see, it was interesting to see. It cost, uh, Bill told me, I believe it was just over $90 uh, after the exchange rate uh, for this hotel. And here you can, you know, you can uh, see that it has your typical amenities. You got, uh, um, what do you call it? What do you call these snacks and 
Well, the water's free, but the snacks, I'm sure you have to pay for it. Uh, they're probably not $10 each. And you've got a coffee machine with different coffee. Of course, you're in coffee country, so you're going to have that. And here you've got uh, a refrigerator with drinks in it. A nice, good-sized flat-screen TV. Beautiful view. Uh, he mentioned that view. That's the other side of Bolivar. I'm on the opposite side. So the view you always see with the sunset is my side. And here you've got a nice uh, bed, nice mattress. And look at that view. It's just gorgeous. I think it's a better view. That's I'm on the um, lower side. And the taller mountains are on this side that he's looking at. And there's mountains even taller in the distance. He's, remember the Andes Mountains. So we're up about 5,000 feet. Those mountains keep going up and up and up. Uh, you can't see in the distance, but they really get up there, and there's snow-capped mountains uh, further back. Good-sized room. Um, again, it's your typical nice hotel that you would find in any decent city in the world, pretty much, right? I guess he didn't pay his light bill. <laughs> I don't know what that is. There we go. Now, I mentioned this is 90-some dollars uh, a night, and uh, it's very nice. The location, you can't beat it. I mean, it's just prime location. It's a block from where I live. But you can get hotels, and my favorite place to stay is actually down closer to El Centro. Uh, it's El Cafeteria. Uh, you can find the link on Booking.com. And actually, if you use my link, you'll find it in the description with Booking.com or Airbnb. You'll get money back on those. Um, but the hotel that I like to stay at is usually about $9 a night, and it's very, very nice. Oh, do you need to... No, no, I can do that later. I'm, I'm checked in. They just won't let me into my room until after two. Every place has that rule. I've never had anybody hold me up on it. I, I, I've checked in 8, 9 in the morning. But then I might be a little more friendly, with humor, <laughs> but insistent. I wouldn't have accepted that. Well, it's, it doesn't bother me. See here, they have leash laws. You see them eyeing it warily? Oh, it's so quiet here today. Almost everything that you would buy in the mall, you can get in El Centro for about half the price. And if you walk a few blocks more, it's Parque Fundadores. Look 
So what are the rooms there? About a hundred bucks? Total rooms. Yeah, so the exchange rate is about three hundred, so it's a little less. Oh, it's a great spot. They can brew roast for you here. Uh huh. So what is your favorite? They don't sell it here. Oh, where do they sell it here? Oh, they don't. That's at the market. Yeah. Vanessa. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I think I'm going to go and uh, check into my room here and uh, get myself settled. I think I'll have dinner at... Uh... Well, I probably won't see you since you're having to leave so soon, but... Uh, well, I probably won't have to leave until maybe 4 or 5 o'clock. Um, Tuesday morning I fly back, I go back to Bogota and then kind of see. So, if I leave at like 3 or 4. You know there's a flight that leaves from Armenia goes to Fort Lauderdale every day? Yeah, I know, but I live on the west coast. Yeah, but then you go from there. Yeah. It's $250. But then it's another seven eight hundred to go to Fort Lauderdale. It's actually cheaper to go to where I went. Yeah. Yeah. 